His name is Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Was that him? My mother, she wonders if you have brought your famous hat. The deer stalker. I've never worn one. And a pipe? I prefer a cigar. Did you do the thing? <laughs> the cane shows the marks of a dog's teeth. The wood is from an island southwest of Madeira. That thing. That was an embellishment of Dr. Watson. If I ever write a story myself, it will be to correct the myriad misconceptions created by his imaginative license. Murder, Mr. Kelmott. Murder. <laughs> I didn't know you wrote stories. I decided to get it right before I die. You're not going to die. I had a great uncle who lived to be 102. What are the odds that you would know two men who would live that long? Well, I didn't actually know him. <laughs> We're about to start an investigation. If you need suspects, you know where to find me. A man comes to Baker Street, you say you've come about your wife. How could you tell? When you're a detective and a man comes to visit you, it's usually about his wife. My Anne has changed. Yesterday I followed her. It is highly poisonous. A drop will more than suffice. Planning an escape with the mystery man. What possible motive could you have had it? I demand you produce her. Oswald, it is a wish to know if you are this man's wife. No. Voila! No, Roger's been a help to you. He's always been clever. It's evidence. Now we must solve it. A convincing set of circumstances signaling your intention to murder your husband. Mr. Holmes. Why are you here? If there's anything I can do, anything to help. <laughs>